And I think like if there's one thing you guys take away from from this video, I hope it's that being in sport doesn't just help you while you're in sport. It like builds your character. It, it, it shapes who you are. And, and these skills are so easily transferable to the rest of your life and will help you throughout the rest of your life. Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So if those of you who've been following along with my channel for a little while, you'll know that I was a big gymnast for 12 years and that around this time last year, I retired from the sport to focus on my studies. It's funny because by the time this video is coming out, it'll be at almost exactly one year to the day of like, I guess my last day of training or my official retirement, if you will. I still hate using the word retirement. It makes me sound old, but anyways. During that year, I've had some time to reflect on my journey or my time in the sport. And so I figured I would sit down with you guys today and just talk about all the ways that gymnastics has kind of helped me in terms of who I am, like different opportunities, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of show like the benefits of not just gymnastics, but kind of being involved in sport at a high level. And yeah, hopefully you guys will find this interesting, helpful, maybe serve as like further motivation to continue whatever you're doing if you're doing rhythmic. Like uh, probably if you if you're if you're following me, you're probably in RG. But if you're not, if you're in some other high performance sport, I'm pretty sure a lot a lot of this will apply to other sports as well. But yeah, let, let's let's get started. I have a very very rough outline of what I want to talk about here, and so I'm probably gonna ramble on, and this is gonna be like a 45 minute video before I edit it. So, future Sophie, have fun editing this. So I guess the first thing I want to talk about is different skills that I've built up through being in RG for such a long time, or high performance sport for a really long time. The big one is like time management, because obviously you're practicing your sport for long hours. Like for me, um, during high school I was often training like 25 to 30 hours a week. But then on top of that, most athletes are in school, a lot of them are in special programs because they're high performance athletes, but I was never in that. I did high school full time, like never took like a special program for athletes or anything. So it's obviously a lot heavier workload than most typical high school students would be going through. And so I had to learn to kind of budget my time well so that I could be able to keep up sport in school at a high level. And I know I got a lot of questions on this channel, like how do you, how do you keep up with both? How do you manage both? And I think one of the key is time management. So being able to build that over the years is definitely what helped me be able to succeed in both. And I think if you are really dedicated and passionate towards your sport, you will try to make the time for both. You'll, you'll, you'll care enough to, to prioritize both over like other things you have going on in your life. So I think, yeah, time management has been the big one and I'm pretty sure I talked about it... I'm gonna say this corner. I talked about it with my friend in a video a while ago. Um, you guys can check that out if you want. It might be a little outdated, but I think the tips are still very much relevant. Um, and then things just like planning ahead, it, it kind of works in with that. Like I've mentioned this a couple times, but I sat down with my mom at the beginning of high school and we planned out all my courses for my whole four years of high school. And we thought, okay, I'm gonna do summer school every summer so that by the time I get to grade 11 and grade 12, I have less courses to take. So if I'm traveling more or training more, I can afford to do that because I've, I've gotten ahead in school a little bit. So that kind of plays into the time management thing and just staying organized as well. I feel like when you have so much going on, if you're not organized and not good at like planning, all that kind of stuff, it's gonna be hard for you. So those are kind of skills that I've picked up from, I guess the balancing of gymnastics and school, but then also just within the sport, it teaches you like determination and persistence and all this kind of stuff because obviously like most things, sports are very much up and down. It's never gonna be a smooth path. You're always gonna have your highs and your lows. And so being able to get back up when you're at your lows and push through to continue achieving whatever you want to achieve is so important. And that's what separates the great athletes from like the good ones. And it really just helps with kind of building your character, e even outside of sport, um, when you're faced with challenges in life that are, that are inevitably going to come. It's like you have that kind of determination and willpower to get through them, to, to continue striving for greatness, I guess, even amongst setbacks and all that, to continue pushing towards whatever, whatever your goals might be, even if it's outside of sport. So, so I think there's a lot of really great skills that can be picked up from high performance sports. And I think it's important to recognize all this, all the skills that you can that you can gain from being in sport at a high performance level. And they've really like shaped who I am today. And I think so much of who I am today is because of gymnastics. And I'm very, very grateful for that. 
Okay, and next up, being at a high performance level, obviously you go to international competitions and you just get the most incredible opportunity to like travel the world, see new places, meet new people, and it's just such an incredible experience. Like I miss traveling so, so much, especially like since COVID and everything, haven't gone on a plane since Elite Canada 2020, which was to Vancouver. Like for example, I got to go to Australia, I got to go to Japan for a week, went to so many different places in Europe and every every place is like unique and you get to learn a bit more about all the, 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 the culture and the way of living there which is so interesting you kind of get outside your little bubble of like the, the world that you live in and these are places that are that I would never get to see otherwise because with my family we, we never did big traveling trips we would always drive places so often we would drive down to the US but that's about the extent of it so if it weren't for, for gymnastics I wouldn't have gotten the chance to see all these incredible places and just so many beautiful beautiful places to see like I'm probably putting pictures on the screen now of different travels and stuff it's just like I said incredible experience to, to look back on now and now it's also kind of like piqued an interest in travel and all that kind of stuff so I'm hoping like when I get to my later years in university I can go on an exchange program in like Europe or something like I don't know what's available but it'd definitely be a really cool opportunity to study abroad or work abroad and like because I also have a lot of experience traveling on my own my parents won't be worried about me like I know how to handle myself just all that traveling stuff is, is so cool and I really enjoy it and hope to get back to it soon and if I do I will take you guys along with me <laughs> The next big thing I want to talk about is something that I've only come to notice pretty recently as I've been kind of out of the sport is just how many opportunities being in sport at a high level gives you like externally. Like when it comes to my resume and, and applying for jobs or schools or anything, the first thing I put or one of the first things I put is always gymnastics. I can I can work so much out of there into how I present myself for, for schools, for jobs and like I was fortunate enough to get into all the universities I applied to and then also now that I'm in school we have co-op terms where, where we work for four months so that's actually what, what I'm doing now, I'm on a work term and typically for first year students like myself it's really hard for them to get a co-op job because they don't have a lot of experience yet and for me that was very much true because I had almost no prior work experience I had done like my tutoring on the side, a little bit of volunteer work but I never had like a a proper job really because well I spent all my time in gymnastics but and I thought that would put me at a disadvantage but what I came to realize is gymnastics was almost like my full-time job like I mentioned before there's so many different skills kind of traits that you can acquire from sport that are applicable to any job you can do in, in the real world and so I was really fortunate to get a job in the first round of hiring which is very rare for a first year student and I kind of I credit all of that towards gymnastics like in in my resumes and all my interviews I just I kept talking about gymnastics the skills I've learned from there the experiences I had talk about the coaching I did I talk about this channel because it's been really important to me to to keep up with the sport and to help you guys develop your skills in, in rhythmic I talk a lot about that trying to guess like inspire the next generation of athletes and if I'm being honest a lot of that definitely helped me get my job now and I'm sure will continue to help me in the future and before applying to jobs, I had spoken to some retired um, high performance athletes and Olympians who were kind of out working out in the world. And one thing that they all pointed out to me that I'll kind of like forward to you guys now is employers and schools, anyone, they, they respect high performance athletes. They have an immense amount of respect for high performance athletes just because they know what it takes to get to that level. They know all the hard work and determination and the sacrifices that are needed to pursue a sport at a high level. So when they see your achievements, when they see that you've done that, they already know you have those skills. Because like I said, there's so many skills from sport that are transferable to your everyday life. And so they already know that you have these skills that, that you're gonna need for your job, like regardless of what job it is, and regardless of the work experience you have before, being in sport, having those skills built up so strong already, it definitely, definitely helps. They all told me, and I 100% and I see the impact that that's had on me getting my job in the first place and I like I can't stress that enough how helpful gymnastics has been for me in this past year since retiring and I think like if there's one thing you guys take away from from this video I hope it's that being in sport doesn't just help you while you're in sport it like builds your character it, it, it shapes who you are and, and these skills are so easily transferable to the rest of your life and will help you throughout the rest of your life and one more thing to end on kind of like a lighter note now even though I've retired like I said I've made it 
I've made it really clear that I want to stay connected to the sport as much as possible. And one thing that's been great for me, like even, even though I've been in school and everything, stuff has been so hectic that when I go to the studio, it's just such a nice break from everything and I feel so free when I'm like dancing or you know, playing around with my apparatus. It just gives you something fun and different to do, like away from the stress of school and just something when you're bored. And like I, I, I kept a pair of clubs in my room. If I was struggling to stay awake while I was doing my work, I would go like grab my clubs and just bounce them on the floor. And it, honestly, it woke me up. Or I would do like little flips with my clubs because those are good at like waking up your hands and everything. But I found that it woke me up in general and just help me kind of continue my work without falling asleep so even little things like that are so great after retiring and just like dancing choreographing being in the studio is just so healing for me especially when school is really stressful it's just a nice break from everything you know okay well that is everything that i had to talk about for my video today i think it's something really important to think about and to reflect on like being away from the sport for about a year now has given me a lot of time to reflect and looking back on my time in gymnastics now, I only look back on it positively. I, I remember all of the great experiences I had, all the friends I made, all the places I got to see, all, all the work that went into it and how it paid out is really, I look back on it with such pride now. And I know obviously the road to get there was not smooth at all, lots of ups and downs, lots of tears, lots of tears and rough times but I think it's important to acknowledge that as well because um, it's never going to be smooth sailing if you want to get to a high level in sport and I've been 100% seeing the benefit that those years in gymnastics have had on my life now now that I'm like at university I'm currently working hopefully this video was helpful or insightful in some ways and I hope you guys enjoyed so yes that is it for this video. Thank God it's only 24 minutes as I'm recording right now. I didn't want this to be a super long video. I just want it to be quick, informative, and helpful. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe down below, and turn on my post notifications if you haven't already. I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.